It's the first night of Hanukkah, the Jewish Festival of Lights. This year, the celebration takes on added significance to those in the Jewish community. Armand Jelly Lopez spent some time with Congregation Beth L's Rabbi Neil Katz, who explains what this holiday is all about. Hanukkah, Hanukkah, Chag Yafe Koka. A celebration of light amid a dark world. Inside his congregation, Rabbi Neil Katz is honing in on the meaning of the start of an eight-night celebration. And we are celebrating the miracle of what happened 2,200 years ago. As Rabbi Katz explains it, Hanukkah is a military story. There was something called the Maccabean Revolt. The leadership in Jerusalem at that time were fighting against what are called Syrian Greeks, and they defiled the temple where Jews worshipped. There was only one place of worship. And so there was a essentially a three-year revolt to reclaim, for the sake of religious liberty and Jewish independence, that particular worship space. Hanukkah, which means dedication, commemorates the miracle of light that occurred when Judah rededicated the temple to the Hebrew God. The Jewish holiday takes on extra meaning this year. The Jewish world is mourning what happened in Israel, plus hoping the hostages are returned. And so some people are setting up special candles for unlit candles for those who don't, who are not able to light their own candles on Hanukkah. Thursday marks two months since Hamas terrorists invaded Israel, killing more than 1,200 people and taking more than 200 others hostage. Hanukkah itself is a repudiation of those who wanted to get us off of our land. And so that moment 2,200 years ago speaks just as loud now as it did back then. In Tyler and all around the world, families will gather to commemorate the holiday, eat traditional foods, and sing blessings. In Tyler, I'm Marangeli Lopez. Rabbi Neil Katz wants to invite the entire community to check out their annual Hanukkah concert. Rabbi Katz will be performing with eight local musicians. He promises it will be a great time. That kicks off right at 7 p.m. at Truvine on Monday.